Hi guys, I'm Mac Million with In the Dark Room with Mac Photos. Thanks for stopping by and joining me for this episode. Maybe I'm a little late to the game, uh, but for those of you who maybe didn't know or maybe are not familiar with Nick Software, I wanted to make sure to provide you all with a link to an entirely, a completely free download to the entire Nick collection. I want to show you how uh, the Nick collection seamlessly integrates with Lightroom and Photoshop. So let's hop over and take a look. So here we are. You will definitely want to come to this link www.google.com forward slash Nick Collection. That's Nick N I K. Make sure to click on download for your free download of the entire Nick Collection. There again, the Nick Collection containing seven separate uh, but integrated uh, editing suites here Analog Effects Pro, Color Effects Pro, Silver Effects Pro, Vivesa. HDR Effects Pro, Sharpener Pro, and Define. Again, this suite working seamlessly with Lightroom and Photoshop. So let's go on over to uh, Photoshop and take a look at a couple of these. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and uh, the image you're seeing on the screen was an image I shot this week during a photo shoot, but uh, we actually got rained out. You can start to uh, see raindrops falling here. So we didn't get to uh, really get going with this shoot, but I thought at the least we could use an image uh, for this episode. Uh, if you look to the left here, you will see a selective tool window. This is uh, in Photoshop after you've downloaded and installed your Nick collection you'll notice it contains each component of the Nick collection um, so to get started we'll hop into color effects pro 4 here to begin demonstrating uh, the presets there in color effects and how I've previously uh, utilized the Nick collection presets so what we'll do, we'll click on Color Effects Pro here. You'll notice it opens its own layer in Photoshop. As it opens the image, you will see that we will have um, a before and an after image here. And we can uh, select if we want to just see the affected image or if we want the before and the after. I like using the before and the after as a comparison. Uh, any adjustments that I make, I usually like to keep um, any effects uh, to a minimal to keep the images looking natural. So the first thing we're going to do here, um, we're going to close this pro contrast and I want to actually bring a little more light to her face here. So there is a pre preset called the reflector tool here. Uh, we have gold, soft gold, or silver. Let's do the silver. We have complete control as far as the positioning and direction of the light here. We're going to pull the light up here. The direction from the top left uh, let's see, I want to reduce the fall off there. Let's move this over and bring the intensity down some. Now, the beautiful thing that I love about uh, Color Effects Pro, well, actually, all of the Nick uh, collection tools here, there is a tool called the U Point. I can specify exactly where I want this effect to be applied to. Here, uh, the control points if I click this add and click on the area I want that effect applied notice that everything else uh, the effect has been removed from except for this location here this circular location where I would like this effect to be applied Furthermore, it gives me more control. I have a slider here where I can affect the opacity. So the level of intensity of this reflector effect. Uh, 
the U point tool is one of the things there again I absolutely I absolutely love about uh, the Nick collection here so we will go ahead and apply that I am going to click OK so we've created our first layer from uh, Color Effects Pro that will be saved in Photoshop. There again, once we have this layer back in the Photoshop, the thing that uh, I really like about this workflow is there again, it gives me complete control over that particular layer and the effect in Photoshop. Uh, so we have this reflector effect and I have complete control over, over that effect here in uh, Photoshop. Let's go back in. Let's do some uh, skin softening. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, have a new layer created um, there in Photoshop. And now we want to uh, do our dynamic skin softening. There is a, uh, a dropper tool here that we can click on a skin tone and it will selectively apply our skin softening to that color range. We can increase or reduce the color range reach. We have control over the level of detail, small detail, medium detail, or large details here as far as our uh, dynamic skin softening tool or effect here. Right now this is, uh, it's a bit uh, excessive but we're going to go with it for the sake of uh, demonstrating uh, these presets today so that you get an idea of the level of control that you have with this um, color effects or the Nick collection being integrated with Photoshop okay so now we have that dynamic skin softening layer here back over in Photoshop again we have complete control over the level of that effect that uh, is being applied to the image. So we'll, we'll do it about 49-50% there. One of the things I want to point out, for example, we're working in color effects right now. Um, you'll notice a section of filters and recipes here. Any of those filters, presets, recipes that you create or that you use in color effects um, those that are frequently used will begin to populate here which is a uh, really nice and, and convenient um, tool uh, for your workflow. Let's go to the tonal contrast preset there in uh, Color Effects Pro. I really like this preset. Uh, it really gives um, a degree or a uh, level of control as far as your contrast and as well as tonal ranges. Um, one of the things it will do, it will initially oversaturate the image. So um, for example, when we first came in, it was very contrasty and the saturation is a little excessive. But there again, we have control over it. We can just bring our saturation level down here and really fine tune the degree of contrast that we'd like here. Um, we can really even achieve a dodge and, a, a dodge and burn effect with this uh, image if we'd like. Okay, so we'll go with that for now. Now I haven't done any of my usual um, pre-editing or uh, walk through uh, my usual editing uh, workflow with this image. We are just strictly doing this as a demonstration of uh, the Nick collection here today. So there we go. We have the tonal contrast there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to group these so we can kind of uh, take a look at a before and after. So this is our image before then the image after applying the effect are the uh, various effects from Color Effects Pro. We're going to do one more thing. We're going to kind of uh, push it over the top just a little bit just for the purpose of demonstration here. What I'm going to do 
is use that uh, let's use something different. We'll use the Pro Contrast preset here. So we'll close out of the Tonal Contrast and go to our Pro Contrast preset here. And we're going to kind of push this to a bit of an extreme here. And this is going to be for the sake of demonstrating how there again, we have complete control over um, these effects in Photoshop. And we had one of two ways of saving this image back over in Photoshop. If we click OK, as we've done previously, it applies the effect to the entire limb image. If we click brush, what it does, it creates an inverted mask on that layer, and we're able to actually paint that in. Uh, for now, I'm just going to hit OK. I'm so used to creating inverted masks in Photoshop that I will just keep with my usual workflow there. So here we go. We have that kind of over-the-top pro contrast um, preset and I'm going to create an inverted mask and what I want to do is I'm going to actually paint this uh, effect on where I would like it which is going to be in our background here so basically just brushing the effect on and just doing it just real quick brief job just to show you how we maintain a level of control here in Photoshop. Remove that off the skin and just do those areas between the arms there. Okay. I'm going to bring this in with our groups there. So now going back and forth between our before and after image. we can begin to see the level of control we have of these presets from color effect in Photoshop. So there again, the pro contrast layer, we can dial in or out however much of that effect we'd like to see. Well, I truly hope that today's episode has been beneficial and that I've been able to provide you with an additional resource or tool in your editing software. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, get out there, get shooting, and remember, make every shot count.